In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about fonts and dividers. I'm going to click Edit. And once again, it's so simple to use basically any font that you want on your site. I'm actually just going to delete that row. It keeps getting in the way. Here we go. If I wanted to change the font here, well, I just click on the pencil. You'll see we've got some spans in there as well. It's an H2 element, but the font family is Verla around. This is a Google font. I don't like that. Let's just change that to Zadea. I have no idea what that looks like, but it looks like that. How easy was that? If I wanted to change that to be consistent, well, just click and there we go. Simple as that. If I wanted to hide this one click script installs, it's as simple as that. F changing the fonts on your SP Page Builder is really easy. Now, huge caveat if you're a site builder handing over this fantastic, beautiful site to your client and giving them access to editing pages using SP Page Builder. You're going to want to train them to not change the fonts willy-nilly and wreck the look and feel of your hard work. This is a training issue, not a capabilities issue. So again, you can use any font that you want in the Google font family. Let's say I wanted to add a little flare here. I'm going to click on the row options. I'm going to click on style and I'm going to enable shapes on the top and at the bottom. And be careful with how you use this, but it can be effective. You have a number of different shape styles. Drip, hill, hill wave. And there are times where this can look really great. Now, of course, I can change the color too. to anything I want. I can now copy that color and make sure that I put it in the back. I can flip the image, I can invert it, and I can bring it to the front so it even covers over some of the text. When I click on the custom shape for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and choose Shaggy again paste the color in so it looks a little bit consistent. Once again, flip, invert, bring to front. I have all of those options. I can even combine them with other background options. As well, to add some really nice effects, even a video, as you already know. So, a couple of things. Fonts and shapes are available to you in any block that you create. Lastly, let me talk about animation. I'm going to come over here and click on the Animation tab, and I can select an animation for this entire block. Click Save. And then when I reload the page, it does the fade up. I added another one down here. There's my call to action coming in from the left. Once again, you want to be careful with those to not overwhelm your viewers, but you have all that power. So that's fonts, shapes, and animations.